Okay, long story, hopefully short. This is my custom Delta 3D printer. Let, let me white out. There you go. It's quite the monster. It's like one and a half meters tall. And uh, it's basically an Anycubic Coso uh, Linear Plus that I uh, jacked up in the Z axis to 3D print this cosplay uh, sword blades in one piece. Because these are supposed to have LEDs inside, and if you print them in one piece, I mean, if you print it in multiple pieces and then you put them together, the seams, when you glue them, they're visible with the LEDs inside. Also, they are hollow, so the glue surface is very weak and they break easily. So, I developed this thing back in 2018 and rebuilt it now to 3D print these things in one go. Thing is, I printed this one, as you can see, but I made it too narrow, too, too thin. I need to fit a PVC, transparent PVC pipe inside here, and it wasn't fitting, so I made it a little bit thicker. And I had a problem, and is that when I made it thicker, these overhangs right here, they were droopy. They, they were not being cooled down properly. So before the mod, I had these uh, 40, 10 uh, cooling fans. They work really good, but they are a little bit anemic. So I developed this, um, this system that holds these 50 by 15 fans, two of them actually, in this flying gantry right here. So they are not down there. And they direct the cooling through these tubes down to the nozzle. And as you can see, they work properly. But the problem is that they work too, too good. And when I installed them, the, uh, they were cooling down the nozzle and the heat protection was triggering. So, um, I had to fix that. And the solution for that, of course, is a silicon, um, uh, silicon sock for the nozzle. Unfortunately, I didn't have one and I need this thing printed tomorrow. So, I came down to the computer. Sorry for the chair. I came to the computer and I uh, quickly designed a very crude, let's call it a heat shield, right? So, uh, it is this shape with the two nozzles and like a box around it. So we have this, the, uh, the volcano nozzle here, and when you put it in place, like this, right, it sort of surrounds the nozzle and keeps it out of the way of the air. Now the thing is, um, this was printed on the Zobo SV08, because that thing is wicked fast, it took like 27 minutes, something like that, and it's made of PDG. Now this should hold the heat, because PDG, um, melts at around well the forms at around 80 something degrees celsius but i don't know if you can see it in video but it's actually developing like an hourglass figure shape or something like that which means that this is a little bit soft but it's holding up the temperature is holding up too so uh fingers crossed hopefully this finishes by tonight um i'll keep you updated thank you for watching